Most of you watching this are striving to become better. Better today than you were yesterday. And for some of us, this means improving our social skills. And for others, it means gaining more knowledge to become more attractive or more confident. And for some guys, becoming a better man means understanding and applying simple behaviors that come naturally to what you might call an alpha. But what if I told you that, like everything else in this world, there is a dark side to this coin, or a dark side to what so many guys are striving to be more like? Some would call this archetype the dark alpha. So you're probably wondering, why is this important? The reason why you need to understand this is because on their journey to becoming better or becoming more than just average, many guys unknowingly slip into the dark side and instead of implementing behaviors that will change their life in a positive way, the opposite happens. So what you're about to learn are some of the dark traits or behaviors of the alpha, which are the ones that you must avoid if you truly want to become a better man. Number one is arrogance. You see, everything in life has a scale and where your behavior falls on that scale is what matters the most. And all of these dark traits fall to the far right side of the scale. Arrogance is when you believe that you are so important that basically nobody else on the planet matters or is above you. And arrogance is basically confidence gone too far or having too much confidence, if you can imagine such a thing. Arrogance can actually be really bad because when you think that you're so incredibly smart or important or good at something, you don't leave any room to grow or improve, whether it's interacting with females or learning a new skill. So as you improve yourself every single day, by all means, become more confident, but never allow yourself to slip into the dark side of confidence, which is the definition of arrogance. Number two, overcompeting. This one right here is super important, and once again, every behavior of what you would call an alpha male is basically on a sliding scale, and the best place to be is near the middle. Now, one of the greatest traits of men who are successful, attractive, and magnetic around other people is being competitive. And at its core, this is simply the desire to challenge other people and win. Whether it's being able to win at attracting a girl that you like or simply winning an argument, nobody will tell you that it doesn't feel good to win. But many guys who display alpha traits get more excited by the competition with other males itself rather than what they stand to gain from winning. So what you would call rivalry is good because it forces everybody involved to grow and become better. So when your friend fights you even harder in a boxing match, it causes you to break through your limits and it causes them to break through theirs. And what happens is that both you end up improving your technique and you both become stronger and better because of it. This is the good side of the coin. But what happens when rivalry is taken too far? This is when you enter the dark side of the alpha traits. Overcompeting is simply rivalry taken too far, and an example is the guy who challenges everybody on everything and always takes pretty much every challenge way too far. Now we've all seen the superhero movies where the good guy takes a challenge too far and becomes completely consumed by his power or his will to win. And rather than keeping things lightly competitive, he begins to see every single challenge as an all or nothing, almost like a deathmatch. The good news is that most situations in life are not deathmatches. And so the good side of this trait is being competitive and pushing yourself and others during challenges so that everybody grows and everybody becomes stronger. And the bad side, obviously, is taking challenges so personally, especially with other people or other males, that you become so consumed by the will to win that you basically black out and don't care how much damage is caused to other people around you in the process. Now number three is ruthlessness. Now there is no doubt that adopting alpha behaviors can really change your life for the better. Many guys have already done it and many more are continuing on this path every single day. Guys who are what you would call pushovers are the polar opposites of a man who is ruthless because they care too much about other people which causes them to value the opinions of other people much more highly than their own, especially in the case of their self-worth. But ruthlessness is the dark side of the coin. The word alpha male for many makes you picture a giant gorilla who ruthlessly dominates everything and everybody around him at all times. But ruthlessness is the dark side of the coin or the end of the scale that you don't want to be on. The most attractive and most successful men are those who are dominant, but not so dominant that they rule over everything in a way that shows zero compassion for others. Always value your own opinion, especially when it comes to your self-worth higher than that of other people. But don't allow yourself to slip into the dark side and become completely ruthless towards other people. Number four, recklessness. In case you didn't already know, all of life is like one giant game of risk. In fact, there's a little bit of risk built into every decision that you make every single day. And something to keep in mind is that greater risk does not always yield greater rewards. And one of the main behaviors of the dark alpha is recklessness, and it's definitely not a behavior that you want to engage in. In life, we take all kinds of risks and hope that they pay off for us. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. 
but it's the ability to take calculated risks that matters even more than the potential reward itself. Because the ability to take risks forces us to grow and become better men. The guy who can regularly take risks by telling jokes that girls might not find funny is going to do far better in life than the guy who can't. And the guy who isn't afraid to take the risk of doing things that others might laugh at him for is once again going to transform himself into a far better man than the one who is too afraid to take that risk. But if you become reckless or slip into the so-called dark side, then you begin taking on too much risk without first weighing the potential rewards. Something to understand is that an intelligent man takes risks just like a reckless man, but the difference is that the intelligent man always weighs the potential rewards or what he will gain from taking that risk before he actually takes it. As you improve or as you become a better, stronger, sharper, and more attractive man, there will always be opportunities for you to slip into the dark side. So if you are unknowingly fitting these traits, it might be a good time to step back a little bit and recalibrate your behavior to make sure that your behavior is always on the good side of the coin. And I don't really say this enough, but it means so much to me that you guys sit and watch every single video. And for that, I am forever grateful to you. So with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.